Another spirit tree. So uh, that means three, uh, two more, <laughs> two more spirit trees for a farming level. It's been like months of doing spirit trees really lazily, and I'm actually gonna get a farming level pretty soon. Maybe this weekend if. Uh, Actually, what do they take, like, three days or two days or something? Where the fuck is the farmer? He's hiding over here. There he is. Um, so I'll have that sometime soon, at least, which will be pretty uh, pretty nice. And I also managed to get 93 mining to, uh, last night, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that. And I actually managed to play about, like, six hours or so last night, which was pretty sweet. Um, it was a grind, but um, it wasn't too bad. I'm going to get back to mining uh, later today. I'm actually making a new uh, intro, just switching around a little bit with a new clip and change the text a little bit, because I've been uh, updating my channel art a bit with my uh, new and improved Photoshop skills compared to the last time I did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, 93 mining is really nice, and I'm at 7.2 mil mining XP, so around 6 mil mining XP left to go, a little bit less, so around 100 hours more of mining. It's going to be a grind, but I'm going to get that done, and then... The feels when I get that skill done are going to be so nice, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here's level 82 wood cutting. So um, I was doing some AFK use today while doing a bit of homework and I was like less than 20k to a level so I figured I would just head over here for a bit and finish off 82 because it's always nice to uh, have the next level. And this is a little bit of a teaser for what I will be doing after I finish mining because the plan right now is to do 99 wood cutting next after mining. Um, which I do actually like a lot. I enjoy power cutting at Teaks. It's fast XP and it's um, not too intense. It's it's like involved a bit, but it's still pretty relaxing. So I'm looking forward to getting 99 wood cutting. Definitely, it's going to be pretty uh, nice to do. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get back to mining now because that's the uh, primary objective still, and I need to get some uh, well, a lot of XP more in uh, mining. <laughs> All right, guys. So what have I achieved in my main today? I've gotten a decent amount of mining XP, which has been pretty nice. I've actually been, if you notice in my inventory, fletching bolts while mining, which is actually working out pretty decently. What I've been doing is uh, just fletching bolts while I'm walking between the rocks. Um, and I've made, as you can see, about 20k or 21k bolts so far, which is around 100k fletching XP, which is basically just free XP, which is kind of nice. I could very easily finish off uh, 99 fletching, just fletching bolts here. So I may end up doing that, I'm not sure. After I run out of these supplies, I may try and see if I can buy Addy Bolt supplies, because they're better XP and um, not really any more expensive, I don't think. Just you have to, they cost more per item, but they sell obviously for more per, more per item also. Um, but this is somewhat of a difficult method to keep up, um, especially while I'm recording and my frame rate is a bit bad, but it's actually pretty decent and it's definitely one of those like high efficiency methods that works really well. You, fletching bolts while doing mining is a lot better if you are using a rune pick because of the way the rune pick works there's a lot more opportunities to fletch bolts so it's not just like once per two rocks it's you can do it once every rock and while you're moving between the rocks so it ends up being a lot faster for fletching if you were to use a rune pick but I prefer to use a D pick and just be maximizing my mining XP since obviously that is still my primary objective is mining and um, rune pick is a bit fat I mean dragon pick is a bit faster for that um, but yeah, it's been kind of interesting to uh, just test out a new thing. The only thing that gets a little bit annoying is that with right now with how many water skins I have in my uh, inventory, these de these two, when it gets down to these two, they move over. <laughs> it's really annoying, and that's the reason that I always have my water skins at the top of my inventory, is so that it doesn't happen. But uh, I was watching the, the dev Q&A today, um, and they mentioned that... Uh, Something with a similar effect to the Enchanted Water TR will probably be added into the game. And it'll probably actually be an amulet because it would be like the Desert Pendant or whatever it's called. Um, so in the future, we probably won't be needing water skins, which would be really nice to just be able to use these two spots. It's like directly in line with the rocks and everything. Makes me almost want to wait until then to do mining, but that you know, would be kind of stupid. I just want to get mining done. And I want to have that cape because it's so nice looking. But also actually... On stream today, uh, my I had tweeted a question at uh, Chris Archie, and it was like the second thing that he addressed, which is really cool. It's the first time I've had a question of mine answered on stream, and my question was about adding the um, prayer restoring effect to full penance gear, which any of you guys who had it back in the day, um, it actually has an effect that was added in maybe like 09 or 010 or 10 or something like that. 
which would very slowly regenerate your prayer if you're wearing a full set of penance gear, um, which is obviously the barbarian assault stuff. And it wasn't very useful for most things because the gear itself was pretty weak and um, the prayer restoration is quite slow. But one thing that it was really, really cool for is actually Pyramid Plunder. Because what you could do is you could use this prayer right here, Redemption, which heals you when your health falls below 10% and drains your prayer to zero. But it doesn't need a certain amount of prayer points. So as soon as you have one more prayer point, you can use Redemption again um, and it'll just keep healing you. So you, you just stay low HP throw on redemption constantly and you're constantly getting your HP back so it's basically infinite healing and pyramid plunder which isn't like crazy overpowered I mean it just means you never have to bank which makes speed up XP a very small amount but not like anything crazy but I thought that would be really cool because that's what I did for pyramid plunder way back then I also had an enhanced Excalibur which I used once per run since I had five minutes for the spec to restore but I could have easily survived with just redemption just by doing that over and over again which is kind of a cool thing and that way you can let your inventory fill up with the uh, items and stuff like that and you can just carry a whole bunch of anti-poisons on you. I guess you probably would have a, have to bank like once in a very long uh, period of time just to get more anti-poisons. But yeah, I thought that would be really cool and I also asked about the Scepter of the Gods. I always thought the Scepter of the Gods was such a cool item and uh, I never actually got one. I did 99 thieving, I did like, I think I have like 16 mil thieving on RS3 and I never got a Scepter of the Gods. I was really bummed about it because it was such a cool item. And it adds like two extra urns. It has, uh, I think, six charges instead of three, um, or something like that. So it would be really cool to have. And it's not like anything overpowered. It's just a small boost, adding two extra urns. And it just looks really cool. And it's another like rare item that you can kind of show off that I always really wanted and never actually got. So I would love to be able to get one on old school. But yeah, hopefully they didn't really give too much of an answer to that. But they said the usual like, if you guys want it, we can add it and stuff. I think it would be really cool if they added some something like a penance uh, upgrade kit or something like that that would cost like X amount of points in each roll, maybe like 100 points in each roll for each one. You'd use one on each set on each piece of penance gear and it would like boost its stats a little bit. The only issue would be with the torso because you wouldn't be able to boost its strength anymore. It would be better than uh, Bandos, which would be definitely OP. But for the other pieces, they're really weak and nobody uses them besides just to show that they have all this stuff. I mean, Fighter Hat and Torso are the only ones that are ever used, as far as I can tell. Um, so it would be kind of cool to have an upgrade kit. I mean, maybe they could boost the stats a little bit on some of the items, or maybe it could just be to be able to add the Prayer Restore effect if you have the full set and you use a upgrade kit on each one or something. But I thought that would be a really cool idea. Um, both of those I just were little pieces of content from way back then that I really loved in the game and would be awesome to see. But anyways, yeah, I haven't actually been fletching in this clip because the, the frame rate is just, like, bad enough while I'm moving between rocks and trying to fletch that it's making it difficult to actually do it correctly, and I have to focus, but that's what it looks like. Um, just have to get my uh, mouse key skills a bit better because I still am definitely lacking in that area. My dexterity isn't uh, great, I wouldn't say. I definitely misclick a lot, but I'm working on it, and uh, I could very easily finish 99 fletching, as I said earlier, if I just did this all the way through with mining. I probably had fletching before mining, I think, since fletching is a bit further on. But I am at almost 7.6 mil mining XP right now. I think I've gotten over 200k, or maybe around 200k mining XP today, which is a pretty decent amount for a school day with uh, other things I had to attend to. But uh, probably get 94 this weekend, which will be nice, and uh, just keep working my way up towards that 99. Alright guys, so today I got 94 mining, which is awesome, I got that right before I went to work, so I um, I forgot to get a clip until now, but yeah, I got 94 mining today, which I'm really happy about, um, hey beast potato, <laughs> um, so I am nearly 8 mil mining now, which means about uh, 5 mil to go, um, so now I'm going to uh, enter my pin. and I'm going to go do my tiers of guthix, and I'm going to get my spirit tree, and I'm going to go to miscellanea. Uh, my weekly uh, activities are growing in size now. I don't remember actually what uh, skill my Tears of Gothic is going to go into this week yet, um, but I, I think it might be like smithing or crafting or something like that. Um, nothing really too beneficial. I'm thinking actually um, that I'm going to get pretty high uh, m uh, smithing and thieving after I finish mining, if not before then. I'd really like to finish mining first, but we'll see. If, I mean, if I end up getting bored of it at all, then I'll definitely go to uh, go switch it up and train either of those two skills. What do I need? I need a games necklace. <clears throat> tab 2. Why is it in tab 
too. I don't know. All right, so I can teleport to Tears of Guthics, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna need 91 mining, uh, 91 thieving, and probably like 92 smithing or so to um to be able to do the elite tasks for the achievement diaries that are coming out soon, and I really want to be able to do that. Um, so I want to have I want to have all the requirements on release. I think I should be able to do this now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> So I'm thinking that those two are pretty much definites that I will need for um, being able to do all the elite tasks. Um, John C. said that you basically need to have a quest cape and nearly max total, which I think was a bit of an exaggeration, but I have the quest cape done, um, and I have random things like 4k chompies that were a possibility for, um, for a task and stuff like that. So I think I'm in pretty good shape, but there's a few skills I definitely need to get up. Luckily, both both smithing and uh, thieving are pretty fast skills, so I'm not really too worried about the time. I could probably have both of those to 91, 92 within a couple weeks tops. Um, so uh, that will be done pretty quickly once I um, I'm set with mining. It's my least favorite fucking mini game ever because of these stupid ass streams. I hate it, but gotta do it for the XP. Um, and I'm thinking possibly crafting an herb lore I might need to get up also, which is uh, unfortunate, but. It may need to get done, um, so yeah, that, I, I probably, I mean, it might be like Super Comet Potion or like Extreme Anti-Fire or something like that that I might need to make, and maybe like a Black d head body or something. Um, God, this is going awful. I see, last time I did this, it seemed like it was, it was best off just like sticking to one wall, and if there's an empty spot, just waiting for it. But this is fucking terrible, so I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because by the time you run to the next wall, the, it's disappeared, and then you go back, and then it's disappeared, and then it's disappeared. <laughs> so annoying. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's the plan after mining, anyways. And as far as mining, five mil to go. So like between three and four weeks, I think. Still, um, it's all just an estimation. But yeah, sometime in December, I'll finish off mining. It was funny I, today. I was just watching through um, my ninety nine room crafting video, the like the video that I made when I got ninety nine which was kind of interesting. Uh, sometimes I just randomly watch through old videos of mine just sort of to uh, look back on what I've been doing in the past. And it was funny because in that video I said that um, my plans were to do fishing, agility, and mining next in that order. <laughs> and that's exactly what I've done. And I there have been several times where I consider doing different things, so it's not like I had that set out completely um, like set in stone. And I was, I was thinking about maybe trying a few other things, but um, I did that exactly as I planned without even totally intending to, which is kind of interesting, yeah. I literally, I got 157 tiers last week. I'm barely going to scrape 100. This is, God, this is awful. It's like 6k XP. <laughs> it shows how varied this can be. I'll have to keep track of how many tiers I get um, for a few weeks and maybe try and see if there's any better strategy for this. Um, oh, I didn't even keep track of what skill I got XP in. Uh wasn't construction, but anyways, I am going to uh, do my spirit tree. Ah, oh, I forgot the fucking amulet of glory. Gee. All right, so that's five k to a farming level. So I'll get that in a few days with my next uh, spirit tree, which is uh, pretty pretty nice to see after many months of being eighty six farming. I'm gonna be eighty seven pretty soon, <laughs> but yeah, farming will be done with bank skills like crafting an herb lore and smithing and stuff like that. Um, I was recently actually calculating how much it'll cost for certain skills like that, and it actually came up with a lot less uh, expensive than I really expected. I have it saved to my desktop, just a sec. Alright, yeah, so this is what I wrote down for um, several different skills. So, this is for fire making. I'm going to do fire making with U logs um, because magic logs are not actually really efficient with the uh, cost that they are now. Um, and oak planks for construction plus the money for paying the butler. That's by far the most expensive skill in the game is construction. It's so much more than like any other skill really. Prayer is up there too. It's pretty expensive. Um, and I'm planning to do battle stabs if I can for um, for crafting um, because they're so much less expensive than green dehydes. I would save me about 15 mil or so. Actually, like maybe more like 20 mil to be honest, um, which is gonna be really good. The only Concerns that it might be annoying to be able to uh, buy the battle stabs and stuff, so we'll have to see how that works out. This is really annoying. And I was thinking of actually doing um, anti fire potions for herb lore, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to buy the supplies very easily, so that was just sort of a hypothetical. But 
I calculated out anti-fire potions are really cheap to make. It would only cost me like 17 mil for the 11 mil herbal XP I need for 99. So that would be really good if I could actually do that because that's super cheap. Um, and then both of these are for smithing, uh, gold ore and added bars. I have to do gold ore to get to level 88 and then I can make addy plates. And addy plates are extremely cheap. I don't know if I should be uh, exposing this, but yeah, they're extremely cheap. They're like 1.5 GP per XP or maybe even less at this point. I don't even know, but they change the alk value of uh, addy plates and they're really, really cheap to make. So smithing is going to actually cost more to get to 88 than it is to get from 88 to 99 <laughs> because gold ore is expensive and addy Addy plates are not expensive at all, and I wrote this in. If I if I can end up doing uh, battle salves, it'll be about 45 mil or so for um, crafting. If I choose to do just the regular green dehydes, um, but yeah, the other two skills, of course, are slayer and um, farming. Now farming is just a straight viable, but I think I may actually end up doing herb runs for a lot of it because herb runs are um, they're not really that bad as far as efficiency, really, because you get some farming XP and they. Uh, are very good profit if you just consider like five minutes or whatever that it takes for a farm run the profit that you make in that time it's actually pretty good gp per hour um i'm not sure the exact amount but it's quite good and um i probably will end up doing that if i if i basically just if i feel like it i mean i don't know if i need to but it'd be good to have some gp uh and i want to have money after i max too i'm not exactly sure if i have enough to max but i mean slayer is sort of hard to predict because i don't know exactly how much i'm going to spend and how much i'm going to get back in drops and everything um, so that one's sort of a complicated one, but I'm thinking that I'll end up buying probably around like 400k cannonballs or so, and, um, like f somewhere between like 5 and 8k, um, prayer potions, and then there'll be some, uh, super attack and strength potions and stuff like that, so that'll be a good amount of money out the, uh, out of the bank, but then I'll get lots and lots of drops and stuff like that that will bring the bank value back up, so... We'll have to see how that ends up working out, but I think overall I probably will lose money from Slayer, but um, it's hard to say for sure, really. I do plan to do Kraken boss and uh, Smoke boss task until I get the pets and maybe just keep doing those all the way because they're really good for profit per hour and um, it makes Slayer a bit interesting. They're not great XP, but um, I want to get the pets anyways for my long-term uh, goals, so that would be really cool to do anyways. Alright, so I am back to the mining grind. I've gained maybe about 100k XP since I got to 94. So pretty decent progress so far, but uh, obviously still quite a lot of XP to go. About 720k, so that's about uh, 12 hours efficient, so probably be a little bit more than that for me because I'm not always uh, top efficiency, especially not with mining, but that's what I'm working on for now. I might do something AFK tomorrow like fletching or woodcutting while I do some of my homework because Sundays are usually the days that I catch up on homework since I actually don't have to work on Sundays anymore, which is always nice, but uh, I think it's going to be about it for this video, guys, so thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. As always, it's been fun. I'm um, sorry. I'll, I'll try to stop switching, going to other uh, my other account. <laughs> it's just uh, so used to uh, not wasting any XP on either. Um, but yeah, doing use on the alt um, feels strangely similar to what I was doing a year previous from now on my skiller, the literally the exact same thing, cutting use in the exact same spot with the exact same stuff on pretty much in pretty much similar stats also. But yeah, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. So I appreciate you uh, watching. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. I'm going to try to have um, something besides just progress videos out this week, uh, like a guide or something like that to uh, keep you guys entertained and everything. Either uh, it might be a remake of RuneScape efficiency tips for mining because I need to do that soon since the one I have now is not completely correct and also I am planning on doing a 1 to 99 mining guide which I still am not sure whether I'll do it soon or wait till I get 99 mining because it always does look better to have a 99 before you do the guide for a 1 to 99 but either way yeah I'll try to have something more interesting out this week um, but I'll see you guys soon with a new video so uh, I'll talk to you guys later.